Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how did VMware take vSphere to the full stack private cloud and transform data centers from 2009 to until the 2025. So as we are aware, uh, in 2009, VMware launched vSphere and before vSphere, we call it as VI3, Virtual Infrastructure 3. And from vSphere onward, the build numbers have started from four series. And it has started like four, five series, six series, seven series, eight. And nowadays, the latest version of vSphere is nine. And this one, how it is evolved, we are going to discuss in detail. Uh, the version information, let me explain you from the any of the broad term website, let's say within the internet, if we type the ESXi build numbers and go to the build numbers and versions of VMware ESXi broad term support portal, we can see the complete vSphere version. Let's say it start from ESX4 and later they make it the ESX4 product to combination of ESX and vCenter. They make it as VMware vSphere and we also have versions with tier ESX 4 series, 5 series, 6 series, 7 series, and also 8.0, 8 series, and latest version is 9.0. So we are going to talk about the vSphere evaluation starting from 4 series to 9 series. And the, even if you notice the build numbers, the most re recent version is released on September 29th, which is ESX 9.0.1. And the older version was the ESXi 4 series that is released on back in 2009, May 21st. Okay, so let's back to the slide. So within the vSphere, VMware launched vSphere transforming how data centers operated instead of running the application directly on physical server, the companies could now run many VMs on a few servers. This made data centers more efficient, cost-effective, and reliable. Suppose vSphere, it integrates vCenter and ESX into unified cloud platform. So ESX means it is virtualization operating system, or in other words, we call it as hypervisor. Using this ESX operating system, we can install on any of the physical server, like any of the HP server, Dell, IBM, and so on. When you install ESX operating system, it allows you to create a multiple virtual machine. Within your virtual machine, we can install the Windows OS, Linux OS. On top of OS, we can run a business-related application. To manage one or more than two ESX hosts, we require a management tool, that management tool name called vCenter. So vCenter, it centrally manages ESX host and as well as virtual machines. And it is also provide your features, that features include a live migration. In other words, we call it as vMotion and the resource pooling, it resource pooling specifically for the better hardware utilization. And one of the key features is DRS, Distributed Resource Scheduler and high availability. In short form, high availability, we call it as HA. HA means it provides a continuous availability for our virtual machine. Even in case of one ESX host is down, within a minimal downtime, all the virtual machines are migrate and restarted on another ESX host, wherever the resources are available. After this 2009, there are some enhancement happened to our VPA version. And similarly, specially mentioned year is 2012. Within 2012, VMware also introduced the STDC vision. STDC full form is Software Defined Data Center. Especially Mr. Paul CEO as a VMware CEO from 2008 to 2012, during which STDC vision was announced. And later, Mr. Pat was named his successor at VMworld 2012 and took over as CEO in September. And within this one, they're promising to virtualize not just compute, but also networking. So that networking, they acquire the uh, NYSERA organization, they make it as NSX acquisition. So VMware's acquisition of NYSERA accelerate its networking innovation, resulting in the creation of NSX. Previously, it is vSphere means specifically for server virtualization and NSX means network virtualization. 
generally nsx is nothing but a network and security platform okay and within a nsx all the network components become virtualized for example within a vsphere all virtual components become say virtualized in our physical server we have cpu but in the vsphere we call it as virtual cpu in physical environment we have a memory here virtual memory and the disk we call it in physical server but in the virtual machine we call it as virtual disk in physical environment network pod but in the vm level we call it as virtual nic similarly within the nsx also whatever the physical network components we have and similar kind of components are virtualized within the nsx like physical switches in nsx we call it as logical switch and the firewall here we call it as distributed firewall and we have a load balancing devices and also the virtual routers distributor in other words we call it as distributed logical router the key components switching routing load balancing firewall all these key components become virtualized okay and coming to the another specially mentioned here is 2014 within 2014 vmware introduced the hpci so hpci means hyper converged infrastructure so Your rail was VMware's hyper-converged solution for simplifying the deployment and management of virtual component. So this uh, special uh, storage virtualization product name is VSAN, virtual SAN. So VMware's 2014 HCI solution VSAN integrates storage with a hypervisor to streamline management and lower costs. This innovation made private cloud easier to build and manage. cloud like facility into a data center simplicity into a data centers now coming to the another year which is 2017 so in by 2017 organization wanted hybrid cloud flexibility and support for containers they require in order to meet the customer requirement vmware come up with a vmware partnered with aws to launch vmware cloud on aws which extends on premises environments to the public cloud and they are not only limited to vmware cloud on aws later on they also introduce some other hybrid cloud solutions that is which includes azure vmware solution google cloud vmware engine and also the oracle cloud vmware solution this is all the specifically to customer so customers are looking for a hybrid cloud flexibility whenever the customer is specifically for aws will propose a vmware cloud on aws suppose some customers they are looking into a azure flexibility so we can propose azure vmware solution similarly for google cloud vmware engine and also the oracle cloud vmware solution and in addition in within the 2017 vmware also introduced their own hybrid cloud flexibility that is called vmware cloud foundation vcf in short form version 2.0 so the specialty of vcf 2.0 integrate vspear vsan nsx and vrealize suit so vrealize suit means it's a combination of vrealize automation vrealize login site vrealize operations manager network insight this all comes under the vrealize suit to make it all the software stack they make a one unified cloud stdc stack the unified platform for compute storage and networking and cloud management okay within a 2017 uh, this marked the trans- transformation of vmware vsphere into a true cloud operating model okay not only limited to on premises we can also integrate with public cloud whatever public cloud we want we can integrate that's the reason we call it as vsphere into a true cloud operating model and modernizing the infrastructures using vco coming to the current year 2025 the latest version of vcf introduced and vcf initially it started with 2.0 and later on vcf 4 series and vcf 5 series after 5 vcf 5.2 vmware directly released the latest version that is vcf 9.0 so within a 9.0 VMware's vision becomes a fully realized, and vSphere no longer just virtualization software. It is the compute engine of the VMware Cloud Foundation, a unified platform that brings cloud-like capabilities into a any data center. 
and support specifically supported for the AAML workloads, artificial intelligence and machine learning workload, and also deep public cloud integration. And this, uh, this is the reason we call it as VCF unifies compute networking storage. So compute means vSphere, networking means NSX, and storage means virtual SAN. Operations means previously we call it as vRelays operations, vRop. Later on, they changed the name to ARIA operation, but latest name we call it as VCF operations. This VCF operation is combination of log insight, vRelays operations, and also network insight. All these products nowadays we call it as VCF operation. That means it have a capabilities of operation management, feature forecasting of capacity planning, dashboard, alerting, and also centralized log management, network, network packet analyzation, all these features included within the VCF operation. And coming to automation, automation is nothing but a, previously we have a version called vRelays automation in short form VRA. Later on, it was enhanced to the ARIA automation. Now the latest name after adding the additional key features, they make it as a VCF automation. And security, security also enhanced in the all the layers while supporting the another key feature is importing of existing infrastructure for a added flexibility. Suppose if you have an existing vSphere infrastructure, we can easily import the existing infrastructure to the latest version of VCF 9.0. Zero. So the overall, this evaluation from 2009, starting 2009 to 2025, shows how VMware continues to innovate to help organization modernize infrastructure, improve the agility, and operate with efficiency of public cloud while retaining the control of a private, private data center. So it is a, giving a more flexibility to integrate with the public cloud specifically hyperscalers, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle, and so on. And also VCF can run it on a, either we can run it on on-premises, we can run it on private environment. It is also supported for public cloud integration. We can run it on edge sites and sovereign cloud and so on. We have so much flexibility with the latest version of VCF 9. And in other words, VCF 9 combination of all this set of software stack, okay? Hope you understand the overall evaluation starting from 2009 to 2025, how vSphere evolved to the complete full stack of private cloud and hybrid cloud platform. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignite Cloud Career channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.